Scorpions are a fascinating species that have been around for millions of years. While most scorpions are not dangerous to humans, there are some species that possess toxic venom and can be deadly. But the question is, which is the most venomous scorpion in the world? Or how venomous they are? And is their venom used for any purpose? To answer all those, we've compiled a list of the top 10 most venomous scorpions in the world. So without further ado, let's start. At number 10, we have the yellow fat-tailed scorpion, also known as the Arabian fat-tailed scorpion. This species is commonly found in South Africa, but can also be found in other places such as Algeria, Chad, Egypt, Libya, Saudi Arabia, and India. It's a medium-sized scorpion that can grow up to 10 centimeters in length and has a molecular weight of 3,421. The yellow fat-tailed scorpion has a very thick and powerful tail with stripes on the sides of its dome, which helps with their vision when it attacking or defending against other animals. This species contains very potent venom that is composed of neurotoxins, cardiotoxins, mycotoxins, and hemotoxins. When it stings its prey, the venom automatically attacks the heart, causing respiratory failure, organ dysfunction, and shock. Interestingly, the fat-tailed scorpion can only ingest liquids. Additionally, the venom is lethal for humans, but is also used for developing new pharmaceuticals due to its potent properties. Next on the list is the transvolatile fat-tailed scorpion. The Transvaal fat-tailed scorpion is a species of scorpion found in hot and dry deserts, scrublands, and drylands of southern Africa, including Botswana, Mozambique, South Africa, Swaziland, and Zimbabwe. They hide in burrows, under stones, logs, and other objects during the day. The scorpions can grow up to four inches long and has a distinctive thick tail and thin pincers. The venom of the Transvaal fat-tailed scorpion is known to be a potent neurotoxin that can cause severe symptoms including pain, swelling, and paralysis. However, the venom also has medical uses, and scientists are exploring its potential for developing new treatment for pain, cancer, and other diseases. The species is also known for its ability to squirt venom at an attacker up to 3 meters away and to produce a sound by rubbing its stinger against its rough back. On number 8, we have the striped bark scorpion. This scorpion is active at night and is commonly found throughout the central region of the United States and northern Mexico. It prefers damp and cool environments and is known for its waxy skin that prevents dehydration. The striped bark scorpion is small in size, with adults measuring around 2 and 3 eighths inches long and its body color ranges from yellowish to tan. It mainly feeds on spiders and insects, using its penny palps to capture and overpower its prey. The striped bark scorpion's venom contains neurotoxins. Although the venom can cause instant intense pain and swelling in humans, it is generally low in toxicity, and most stings have little medical consequence. The venom striped bark also contains substances that can suppress the immune system, which could be useful in treating autoimmune diseases, such as rheumatoid arthritis and lupus, where the immune system attacks healthy tissues. Next on the list, we have the Brazilian yellow scorpion. The Brazilian yellow scorpion is native to Brazil and found in various different habitats, including urban areas and natural environments. The Brazilian yellow scorpion is relatively small, with adults typically measuring around 6 centimeters in length. It has a yellowish-brown color with a slender body and pincers. The Brazilian yellow scorpion glows a vibrant greenish-blue user ultraviolet rays. This biofluorescence is thought to play a role in communication and prey detection. Their tail is equipped with a stinger, which is used to inject venom into its prey or in defense. The venom of the Brazilian yellow contains excitatory neurotoxins that can cause a variety of symptoms including fever, priapism, and agitation. The Brazilian yellow scorpion mainly reproduces through parthenogenesis, a form of asexual reproduction where females produce offspring without male fertilization. Next, we have the Arabian fat-tailed scorpion. Fat-tailed scorpion is found in North Africa and the Middle East. It's a generalist desert species that can grow to over 10 centimeters in length and can vary in color from light brown to blackish brown. Its most notable feature is its thick and resilient metasoma, which contrasts with its thin penny palps. They are nocturnal and enjoy making cuts with wood, where they hide in during the day to retain moisture. The venom of the Arabian fat-tailed scorpion is mainly composed of neurotoxins and cardiotoxins, which can cause severe pain, muscle spasms. The venom is also destructive to its prey, which includes insects, other intervertebrates, and some small vertebrates such as geckos. They are able to go months without consuming food. The female Arabian fat-tailed scorpion is known to be cannibalistic, eating other scorpions. And after baby scorpions are born, they climb up into their mother's back they stay there until their first molting period. At number 5, we have the Red Claw Scorpion, also known as the Tanzanian Red Claw. 
It has a black body and red claws that can vary in color from strongly red to slightly red, depending on the region. The scorpion is 4 to 6 inches long and is mainly found in the moist forests of Tanzania, Africa. It likes to hide and can be found living under rocks, fallen logs, or in shallow burrows. The scorpion is considered aggressive and has a powerful neurotoxin that contains a mixture of salts, small molecules, peptides, and proteins. The venom system of a scorpion consists of paired venom glands located under the sting the sting of a red claw scorpion is similar to a bee sting, and if not treated, it can cause severe harm to a person who is stung by it. Next on the list, we have the Arizona Bark Scorpion. The Arizona Bark Scorpion is a small, light brown scorpion found in the Sonoran Desert. It measures up to 2.5 to 3.14 inches in length, with females slightly smaller than males. It has a tan body, a slightly darker back, and it glows blue under UV light. This nocturnal scorpion prefers riparian on the banks of a river habitats and can live up to 5 to 7 years. It has two body segments, eight legs, two front pedipalps, and a five-segmented tail with a raised stinger. The venom composition of the Arizona bark scorpion includes neurotoxins such as excitatory neurotoxins and calcium channel blocking neurotoxins. These neurotoxins affect the nervous system, leading to symptoms such as muscle twitching, restlessness, and in severe cases, respiratory failure. Their venom is being explored for treating brain diseases like epilepsy and glioblastoma. At number three, we have the spitting blacktail black scorpion. It is found in dryland parts of South Africa. It is considered one of the most deadly scorpions in Africa, with a stinger that delivers a massive dose of toxin that's roughly the equivalent of cyanide causing many of the same symptoms. The scorpion is black, often shiny, and has a thick tail covered in short bristle hairs. It's nocturnal, active at night, resting in shallow burrow under rocks during the day. The venom of the spitting black-tailed black scorpion is composed of two types of poison, one a mobilizing toxin used for smaller prey and the other a nasty one used for self-defense against large predators or humans. The venom can cause immense pain, heart palpitations, and muscle spasms in the area of body. Spitting blacktail scorpion venom has potential for pain relief, anti-cancer, and antimicrobial research, but its use in current medicines is limited. Next on the list is the Indian red scorpion. The Indian red scorpion is found throughout India and is known for its red or orange-red coloration. The Indian red scorpion can vary in color from reddish-brown to orange or even brown. Its distinctive features include dark gray ridges and granulation on its body, small pincers, a thickened tail, and a large menacing stinger. It typically inhabits in dry, rocky areas and is commonly found in urban areas seeking shelter in dark, cool places such as shoes or clothing. It is a relatively small scorpion with adults reaching about 2.5 to 3.5 inches in length. The Indian red scorpion venom components include iberiotoxin, tamapin, and neurotoxins that affect the nervous system, and stings can cause severe pain, swelling, and muscle cramps. These scorpions are solitary hunters, using their excellent sense of smell and touch to locate prey such as insects, spiders, and even small lizards. On number one stands Deathstalker Scorpion. The Deathstalker is found in desert regions of North Africa and the Middle East. They are typically yellow and can grow up to three inches in length. One unique feature of the Deathstalker Scorpion is its ability to glow under ultraviolet light. The venom of the Deathstalker scorpion is composed of a mixture of neurotoxins and enzymes. The venom can cause severe pain, muscle spasms, and respiratory distress. However, the venom is also precious for several reasons. One of the most potent components of the venom is called chlorotoxin, which is used in cancer treatment. Additionally, these scorpions are very difficult to breed and handle, and each scorpion only produces a minute amount of venom at a time, making collection a tiring and hard process. The venom of the Deathstalker scorpion is incredibly valuable, costing around $39 million per gallon. Thank you for watching this video. Comment down below your favorite part and let us know. Also, press the subscribe button and bell icon for regular updates.